Here we see Timmy and his dad sitting on this building. What? <laughs> I'm serious. He looks like your dad, though. He do, he do. He do look like the dad. He just spikes his hair up more, and, you know, he has a beard. You, you cover your face, so we don't know if you have a beard under that. You don't know, man. I mean, you, you would have uh, maybe, you know, longer sideburns, but that's about it. Point. Have you seen my face? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo. I'm kidding. I don't think I can. I don't think I honestly can. Like, if I go into my mode, can I? Oh yeah. yeah, he's he's clean shaved. Clean shaved. Hey guys, it's Christian Timmy here, and welcome back to Shinobi Life 2. It's been a bit since I made a video, and I've been taking a little break. Uh, happy Halloween for me and. Uh, Fusion Bacon. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I was like, do you, do you forget who he was for a second there? Because you're kind of like. I, I was confused uh, where you were going with that intro. Not gonna lie. <laughs> well, I, I was just like, you know, I forgot to really introduce you and all. Anyways, anyways. I'm here too. <laughs> Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. We're sorry we couldn't post this weekend up until now. We should be streaming sometime after this video goes up. Hopefully, mm -hmm. if not, you'll know something's went wrong. We'll probably stream sometime during the week or this next weekend. But we just had a lot going on this weekend, and we just couldn't make it. But we did put up a little funny picture, you know. Ba <laughs> no. Bacon was looking kind of like a Chad. I ain't gonna lie. Stop. No. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, uh, I'm sorry. I was just talking to the the current subscribers. If you subscribe today, you'll be you'll get everything. All right. You'll you'll slowly start to become one of us, and you'll understand all these jokes. But welcome to the channel. We're gonna be teaching you guys where to find. Chomi Jin. I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, so I'm gonna say Chomi because there's no Chromi. It's it's Chomi. I, I don't exactly know how to say it. All right. <laughs> all right. What it <laughs> but it's a 150 chance, and it's at 7:10 p.m. or a.m. I believe. Let me just check real quick. Yeah, 7:10. It's in the Sand Village. I just want to clarify that it is in the Sand Village. So we're standing by this ranking guy. You know, he looks like my dad, but you know, <laughs> he he just he has red hair. He doesn't look great, but. Now, as you can see, once you're by this ranking guy, you can see the symbol clearly above his head. We're gonna go to the ramen shop, which you can see the symbol is right down there. So if you don't know where this is, you probably know where the ramen shop is. So we're gonna help you guys find that real quick. This is the weirdest ramen shop I've ever been to. How do you get in here? I know, wait, is there, is there? Uh, it's oh, no, okay, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. So you get some ramen, blah, blah, blah. Then you just wanna, I'm completely wrong. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> right here. Right here. You go up these stairs. You, you coming with me? Oh, you're, you're going above. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was already up here. I was like, are you coming up here? And then as you go through here, this is the outside of the village. If you go up far, you'll notice there's only one place that goes outside the village. It's like a humongous wasteland. But the first main thing you're going to see is this broken down bridge. It's something I always talk about in all my videos. That it's just a good landmark. There's the arena over there. You'll also see that. I didn't even know they had an arena in this village. I'll be honest. Me neither. That might I always be new, pass actually. by it. I've never seen that. Now I don't think it's new. I just think we've always oh. missed it. Wow, that's kind of sad. <laughs> it really is. But anyways, you go up. You go up this big tree log, spelling down. You're gonna see this bridge. Now what I usually do is I'm gonna go up to this tree. Jump on this leaf, you know, just to make it a little bit faster for you guys. Okay, come on. It's quite a long journeys. Journey, not journeys. 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 You can get the Slow. coolest new hip shoes from Journeys. <laughs> I don't oh even. Oh my god. Fusion brand. Fusion brand. <laughs> Fusion brand. No. But you come onto this tree, and you're going to see another tree right over there. And you simply want to jump to this other tree. You know, this is kind of what you do in this game. You kind of jump from tree, tree hoppers. to tree. Yep, tree hoppers. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to see this rock right here, right? It's a very Ooh. nice rock. So. Rock. It's a great rock. Not dead yeah. serious. We do know what we're doing. I, I promise you. <laughs> but then, you, this is how you know you're almost close. You're going to see this big area right here. You're going to see this dead tree. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to this dead tree. I'm going to wait for this to clear up a bit. And then you see another tree. We're going to go over to this. I'm just using these kind of like these trees as landmarks, you know. So I'll jump over here. Oh, God. It wouldn't let me, just, <laughs> wouldn't let me jump. All right. Let Anyways, you go up forward. the tree. You go up the tree. Oh, okay, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. You go up the tree. Beckin still hasn't got up here. What a loser. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that reaction? <laughs> I, I, I was on the tree, but the leaves didn't catch me, I guess you could say. Now, what you're going to notice is there's this big grassy area back here. It's usually very easy to tell, but since the leaves are kind of green during this season. Not green. <laughs> the leaves are <laughs> green during this season. You're not going to notice it as much. 
But in the normal game, when the season is just, I guess, spring or summer, you're going to notice all these leaves will be green. you got this big grassy area. And you're also going to see those dummies down there. It's at the top right section of the map. Top right. It's at the right section of the wasteland, too. So basically, as far as you can go up to the right of the wasteland. And uh, here's how you'll know where it is. So you'll get up to this rock right here. And then right down here is where Kyomi will spawn. It spawns right around here. I don't actually know where the scroll spawns. I think it spawns like right over here, if I'm correct. I think it spawns right here. Because in past streams, I think people have had to get it. It spawns right over here. And the beast itself will spawn around here too. It is one of the harder ones. Me, Bacon, and Daniel, back when we were kind of new to the game. As you can see, we're C1 and D3. We're not exactly noobs. I have Sharingan almost maxed out, you know, Chroma Cloak. I, I probably should have shown that at the start of the video. I actually do have a max. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, we know what we're doing. Bacon's almost got Koku maxed out. He's almost got that maxed out. He's still working on it. But essentially, we know what we're doing. We've done this a bunch of times. But back then, we were kind of new to the game. And we had to fight it. He had a, it has 4 million health, right? It's super hard to kill. And there's a time limit. So I recommend bringing three other people with you. Just know that only three people can pick up the scroll. Not all four of you. But hopefully, if you have a pro with you, he may either not want it. Or he may already have it. So I'm just saying keep that in mind. Only three people can actually pick up the scroll. And uh, it will it will cost a million dollars. A million Raya. Whatever you want to call it. So if you do want to know how to make that kind of money. I've already made a video on how to get Ryo fast. As you can see. The link will be in the description. Just go check that video out if you want to figure out how you can earn more money. But it spawns right here. You'll be able to get it. You just got to get a high enough level. And enough money to get it. So I'm going to go and show you guys what the first form looks like. Now what's different about Kyomi is, well, you'll just have to see. Hold up. It's right this. This is one. All right. This is what it looks like in the first Ooh. form. You can frigging fly. No. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Bye, bacon. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, I believe I can touch the sky. Oh, I got this. I got this. Don't worry <laughs> look about at me. Look, I look like a fairy. <laughs> Timmy's a fairy guy. Every uh, night and day. Oh, God. But, uh, dude, how do I stop this? I, I'm uh, going across the whole map. I'm seeing everything. I think it's C like, like or control. It's one of the other. I can't make it stop. No, don't, don't. <laughs> uh oh. I'm about to fall. Wait, no, Sharon gone. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Timmy. Now, it does take your stamina to fly. So, when you run out of stamina, it is going to make you fall. But this is like the only gin that I know of that allows you to fly. <laughs> Bacon has paper, so it allows him to fly. Mm -hmm. But Chomi is the only gin that I know of. Maybe Ten Tails can, but the only gin besides that that I know of that can actually fly. So it's very useful for that. So I definitely recommend this gin. And even if you don't think it's the strongest gin or has the best ability, you can freaking fly. So it's at least kind of helpful to get around. You know, it's. It's helpful to have if you just want to fly across the map get that and uh bam you can use it that easy and like i said it does cost a million and it does have a level requirement so just make sure to check out our video so that you'll be able to get it super easy and uh other another thing before we end off this video or we go any further we just want to say that only about like 12 to 14 percent of you are actually subscribed and that is that is such a low amount. That means almost 90% of people that watch our videos don't even subscribe. So if you could just do us a favor and check that subscribe button. See if you're subscribed. Because if you aren't, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. And maybe hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when we do videos like these. Or streams. Because we stream pretty frequently. And they're always a blast. And we help so many fans get gins. There's been so many people who have gotten them. And they love our channel because of it. They always stick around because they're like, wow, these guys helped me get a, our, like my first gin, you know? So, like I said, guys, just consider subscribing. Uh, anything you want to say? Oh, one thing I wanted to add is once you unlock it, like with the Ryo and the level requirement, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Like, it will always be able to be equipped it, even if you rank up. Mm-hmm. So once that, you bought it once and unlocked it, you can always equip it. Even if you rank yep. up, you can always equip it and go through all the modes. Now, one thing I'd like to go ahead and get out of the way, just for the noobs that don't have anything yet, if you look at this... Gents have a level. See, it's level 12 right now. And if I was to go to the first mode, you can hold Z to go to the first mode, right? Now, let's just say, I want to go to the second mode. Well, if I hit Z in 2, it tells me I need to be level 210 to go to my second form. 
to do that, all I need to do is just go out and look, look at our, uh, right over here. It says level 13, right? That means I need like another 200 and like, well, actually more like 198 levels or something like that. So, like 197, something around there. But basically, you want to get this to level 210 and you'll unlock your secondary form. And when you do that, you can go Z2 and it'll give you more stats. Here, I'll actually use Kurama as an example since I already have this one so high. So this is the first tail, right? Now, normally it would tell me I need to be a certain level to go to my second tail. But I've already unlocked it, so I'm going to go ahead and do Z and 2. Now, when I do that, look at that. It gives me more stats. I have two tails. It changed my appearance. It has the same ability as the first one, though. But now if I was to go to my third form, which I unlock after getting to a certain level, there's more stats. And I'm pretty sure the ability is just the same, so I'm not even going to bother showing it. But then if I go to Z4... As you can see, I look totally different now, and I have a humongous stat buff. It's it's a pretty good mode, even when it's this low. But if I hit the Z button right now, I'm going to shoot out a humongous black ball that just kind of, I think it just sends everyone flying. It does quite a bit of damage, too. And then if I was to just say Z5 or Z6, most of them all have different abilities. Now this, this is uh the cloak, and then this is the full form. Oh, wait, no, wrong button. <laughs> That's the full form. And as you can see, I have tails and everything. But what's cool about this is I can either hold right click and I'll have a special move where I can hold these little balls and I can throw these and they do a lot of damage. Like I'm talking there a ton. Definitely don't be like, you should definitely use those, put it that way. And if I was to actually hold my Z button, it would put out Karama, which I'll show off in a minute, but instead I have to wait for it to cool off. That's basically all you need to know about this gen. I hope it helped you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out our other gen videos because we've done them almost on every single gen. We have a few more that we need to do. And Bacon's done, I think, Batabi. And he's probably going to be doing the next one, which is going to be Yuki. And we still got to do Shukaku and Kurama and a couple others. But we've done a lot of them already. So definitely go check the other, the other videos out. Okay, guys, I was about to actually end off the video, but I realized there's one thing I forgot to clarify. Luckily, Bacon mentioned it to me. Essentially, like I said, there is levels to gins, but the best way to actually level gins is to do quests. I figured that'd be pretty straightforward. Also, staying in the form and using the ability and stuff like that will actually give you gin XP. But uh, we're going to make a full video eventually on how to level up your gin. Super easy. So just keep that in mind. We will be making a video on that pretty soon. So that's another reason you subs uh, should subscribe. I keep slipping up my words because I'm trying to say so much, but. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. This is Fusion Timmy and Fusion Bacon signing out. Peace.